guys welcome back so today as you can see I'm feeling a little blue so we got some blue going on today <laughs> but I wanted to come to you guys and just kind of give you a bit of an update on some of the skincare and just like moisturizer body bath products that I've been using over the past few months and some I got last month some I got a couple of months ago just to kind of give you some information on how the products have worked for me whether or not I like them um, and if they do what they say they're gonna do so this is just basically an update on some non makeup beauty items <laughs> if that makes sense so I want I did write down some notes because I didn't want to forget anything that I wanted to say about a product which is very easy to do when you sit down in front of the camera and you're trying to gather your thoughts and not sound crazy <laughs> so if you see me reading or you know just looking at my notes that's why because I want to make sure that I express to you guys exactly how I feel about these products now I won't say that there's anything particular in my little this is my basket of products that I want to talk about today there's in, there's not anything in here that I would say I just hated or I just did not like because I pretty much have been enjoying all of these items so I want to start out with actually a couple of face masks now this first face mask is this Freeman it's one of their feeling beautiful masks it's the clearing sweet tea and lemon peel off clay mask and it looks like this and I love a good face mask um, as far as my skincare routine, you know, every other day, definitely every week I'm doing some type of mask on my face, whether it's this kind that you put on and let it dry and peel it off, or if it's the easy kind that you can just tear open the wrapper and put on your face. I love me a good face mask. Now this one here, <laughs> this one here says that it instantly removes impurities and tones for radiant skin now i will say that i definitely agree that it does that i love the way this mask make makes my face feel it makes my skin very soft immediately after i take it off it just feels really really good now the one thing that i will say about this mask and these freeman masks are very inexpensive you can pick them up like at Ulta, Walmart, you know, I've even seen some at some dollar stores and stuff like that for about three or four bucks if you get a decent deal on them. But these masks here I really, really like. Now, what I will say about this one is even though it says on here easy to peel mask, it is fairly easy to peel off because it does stay in one piece when you put it on it actually kind of comes off like latex <laughs> once it dries and you take it off it feels like like it's a latex glove in your hand that's how bonded I guess this stuff gets when it dries and for me this stuff it hurt <laughs> when I pulled it off it hurt not like the charcoal the black charcoal mask that really really hurt when you pull them off not that bad but this one actually hurt my face pulling it off it was so tight that i actually found myself avoiding this mask even though i love the way it made my skin feel i kind of found myself avoiding it because i didn't want to deal with the pain i mean honestly i'm pretty sure after i peeled this off my beard was gone my mustache was gone my edges and my eyebrows was gone <laughs> this stuff really really adheres to your skin and it's kind of it really tugs when you pull it off but other than that I really like this mask okay next mask I have that I want to talk about is another Freeman mask like I said I love these this one is the cleansing apple cider vinegar mask and this is a clay mask um, so it doesn't peel off you put it on let it dry and then you wash it off what I really like about this mask is that it is a dual purpose mask because there is a tiny tiny bit of an exfoliating scrub in this mask which I really like because when you go to rinse it off you can feel the little exfoliation going on on your face and so you're getting a nice really good cleanse and it helps to soften your skin this one says it instantly tones purifies mattifies for flawless complexion and i do agree with that 
it's good for all skin types <clears throat> now this one both of these masks have a really nice scent they do smell good they don't have any type of strong crazy smell to them this one like i said gently exfoliates and it makes my face feel extremely soft the only thing about this mask and i don't know if it's just me but it kind of concerned me a bit every time i use this mask my face itches a little bit <laughs> when i put it on and when it's drying and as I'm like washing it off, my face has a little bit of an itch to it. So I don't know if it's the apple cider vinegar, if I'm actually, I don't think I'm allergic to anything because I don't break out or anything like that. It just starts to itch a little bit. And so it feels really good when I start to uh, scrub my face with it. But yeah, that's a little bit of a concern for me, but nothing has happened to my skin. So I guess it's okay. And yeah i think that's about it that's all i have to say about this mask i really like this one and this one actually smells good to me so next i want to talk about a neutrogena product you guys are probably familiar with it because i do use this most of the time before i you know go in with my makeup looks and stuff i use this to hydrate my skin and moisturize now this is the neutrogena hydra boost and this one is the gel cream they do have a couple of different types um after i finished this one i did order another one and this one is the water gel so this one has a little bit of a different consistency or texture than this one but they both have hyaluronic acid in them which is good you know for my face it's good this one says it's for extra dry skin so i don't necessarily feel like i needed this one because my skin is not extra dry but the one that is the Hydra Boost Gel Cream says for extra dry skin. Now, this one is good for daily use. It's oil free, fragrance free, dye free, and it's non comedogenic. So, all of that stuff is really, really good for your skin. And I love this stuff. This is something I would definitely repurchase over and over again because I like it. It feels like just an instant boost of hydration to my face it's not anything that feels like it's sitting on my skin i like the fact that it soaks into my skin so next i want to talk about this product that i got i picked this up at ulta in the front you know where you can get the little kind of deluxe sample sizes of certain products you want to try out and this one is the clinique take the day off cleansing balm and i did get this sometime last year when i you know was doing <laughs> some of my holiday shopping and i really wanted to try this out because i was hearing so many good things about this makeup removing cleansing balm and what i will say about this it has a soft but firm texture i haven't quite finished it yet i've dug a, a pretty good hole up in there if you can see i haven't quite finished it yet i like the fact that you know it's a nice firm texture so you can get it on your hand and just kind of really rub it in and use it to loosen and remove your makeup. All you do with this is you just rub it in, rub it all over your face, and then rinse your makeup off with some warm water, you know, and clean your face after that. But I like this stuff. Um, it's not my favorite. I have another product that I'm going to talk about next that I actually like better than this, but this stuff works fairly well. I know it gets rave reviews, but I have something that I actually feel like works better than this. Can I call you right back? I'm in the middle of filming. Okay, yeah, no problem, baby. I'm just going to give you something to eat. Okay, okay. okay. bye. All right, but this yeah this stuff really it works really nicely but it wouldn't be my first choice it does have no scent to it and it's kind of pricey the regular size of this i believe is around 30 dollars, so i don't see myself repurchasing this um it says it's good for all skin types you just rinse it off with warm water like i said and it's very lightweight it's definitely lightweight and it does just kind of melt your makeup off which is pretty cool you know so it's nice but i wouldn't repurchase it now what i was talking about that i do actually like better than that clinique take the day off is this neutrogena ultralight cleansing oil i really like this stuff i was kind of scared to use it at first because you've probably heard me say before in plenty of my videos i don't like putting oils on my face <laughs> but this is extremely lightweight and it does rinse off 
to a perfectly clean face. You don't feel it like heavy or it doesn't make your skin oily or anything like that. Now it says here that it effortlessly and completely removes waterproof makeup, dirt, and oil. Rinse is clean without stripping and that is definitely true. Now for this stuff here, I love, 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 love it. Okay, I would definitely repurchase this. This actually was gifted to me now that I think about it. My girl Bridget gave me this in our makeup swap. And you can see that was like way, way last year. And I was scared to use this stuff. I held on to it for the longest time. But since I started using it, you can see I'm almost, <laughs> I'm working my way through it. And I love this stuff, but I've had it for quite a while. Now, what I really like about this stuff is the fact that it's lightweight and it does not clog your pores. And this gets my makeup off. I don't care. You know, you guys know what kind of looks I do, okay? I don't care what it is. All I have to do is put a couple of pumps of this, rub it in my hands, and just rub my face, rub my eyes really good. And I could just feel it breaking down my mascara wiping away all of my makeup my foundation everything this stuff works really good so if you haven't tried it out i would suggest definitely try it because this stuff works really good okay next i want to just talk about a hand cream this was actually a sample that i got in one of my monthly subscription boxes i dare not say which one because i could get it wrong could have been boxycharm ipsy who knows but this is the 417 hand moisturizing cream and it's just a hand moisturizer but this stuff is very very nice now this stuff smells amazing okay it smells really good i love it it's it has a really nice thick i don't know if i can get just a teeny bit out of here <laughs> let me see but it is a really nice thick I got a little bit out. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I was able to get a little bit more out. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> but yeah, it, all oh, this stuff smells so good. I don't even know how to describe it because it's not really like, it's not tropical. It's not coconut or anything like that, but it, it does. It smells like a vacation in this little tube okay I really like it this I'm definitely going to repurchase I actually ran out of this quite a while ago and because I have so many different lotions and hand creams and stuff that I get from my monthly subscriptions that I just haven't repurchased it but this is a definite repurchase for me now this one here like I said it leaves your skin feeling super soft it's made from dead sea minerals so it's supposed to be really good for your skin as well and it's supposed to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles I don't think that I actually you know had enough in this little sample to see any real reduction of fine lines and wrinkles in my hands but once I repurchase the full size, I will be checking for that, okay? <laughs> I will definitely be checking for that because with your hands, your hands will definitely tell your age, okay? You can look, I can take a picture and make myself look like I'm still doing the dang thing. But so I take a look at your hands, they'll be like, ah, your hands telling on you, honey. <laughs> so... For sure, for sure, I would love something that will, you know, decrease wrinkles and fine lines anywhere, okay? Okay, next, I want to talk about two more products. It's just some bath time products that I've really, really been enjoying. The first one is the Shea Moisture Lavender and Wild Orchid Bubble Bath and Body Wash. I really like this stuff. Oh, it smells so good. The lavender in here is just super duper calming. When you when I use it to shower and you know if I take a really hot shower and I just start smelling this lavender, it just really is relaxing. So it's kind of like a de-stressor as well in my opinion. The shea moisture is really nice for moisturizing your skin um, or shea butter I should say. But it's very hydrating and calming. It smells really nice. Really, really nice. Um, and it has no, you know, it has a bunch of, a whole list right here on the side of all the bad things it doesn't have. No parabens, no flalates, no paraffin, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no DEA. I'm not sure what that is. No sulfates and no animal testing. So... That's cool. It's cruelty free as well. So I like this stuff. I would definitely repurchase it. I still have a little bit to go for this. I My body washes tend to last me 
quite a while just because of the fact that I, I use a lot of them. <laughs> it depends on how I feel when I get in the shower as far as what I use. And speaking of that, the last product I'm going to talk about is this one that I got in my Boxy Lux in December, okay? This little spongily or spongely or spongel, sponge leg, <laughs> however you pronounce this sponge that I got in my boxy lugs. I like this thing, okay? I don't know exactly how many uses you're supposed to get out of this. It seems like I read 14 somewhere. For some reason, 14 is stuck in my head. But I did just keep the box just so that I can, you know, show you guys what I'm talking about. But this is the Body Wash Infused Buffer. And the one that we got is Blossom Bliss. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Even just right now, it smells good. Now, I can still use this. As you can see, you know, it's just a star-shaped sponge. I've only used this about seven or eight times. So, if it's good for 14 times, I know I got a few more in here. And it's definitely still soap in here. Because when I use this, it suds up just like the first time. Now, what I like about this sponge... It gently exfoliates. It looks like it might be kind of hard, and but once you get water in there and kind of squeeze it a few times, it's a nice soft sponge, but it does still kind of gently exfoliate your skin. It smells amazing. It leaves your skin soft while it's moisturizing, and this is good for all skin types. So whether you're dry, oily, sensitive, whatever, it's supposed to be good for everybody. Now, this is vegan and cruelty-free, paraben-free, and it does have a 24-month shelf life. So if you wanted to buy a few and stock up and just, you know, keep them in your little shelf with the rest of your soap, I guess, for future use for your family, you can do that. So I like this thing. Will I repurchase it? I can't say. If I came across a really good sale or a really good deal, maybe I would, just because of the fact that I know that I like these. But... As far as just saying, oh, I can't wait to buy some more, I wouldn't say that because, like I said, I use a lot of different body washes and, you know, I very rarely will repurchase something right away. Um, I'll get it again if I miss it. So, anyway, you guys, that is all that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Those are all the updates I wanted to give you on these non-makeup but still beauty and skincare products hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know down below what are some of your favorite non-makeup beauty and skincare products maybe there's something else out there that you would like for me to try i would definitely do that but that's it for today you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video Toodles.